Hello guys, welcome back, I'm Angso, and this time we're talking about the beginning of a um, pre-event or something like that uh, to the wedding of Batman and Catwoman that is properly called Prelude to the Wedding. Um, I didn't know we were going to get this, but it had started strong, and it had started with a confrontation uh, between Robin and Ra's al Ghul. Um, so, I'm gonna quote first paraphrasing something that Rush says uh, by the end of the book, uh, by, by the end of the issue, uh, this is not a spoiler in any way, I'm just uh, quoting him in out of context, it doesn't mean anything, but once you read it, you're going to enjoy it anyway. And he says something like, who cares so much about a wedding? I'm going to leave it at that. Um, but apparently a lot of people care about this wedding, including Rush. So, the issue starts with Damian and Selena interacting, uh, um, uh, sharing time together. Uh, and Damian is a little on the defensive side of things, and that is to be expected. I mean, he might be one of the best uh, killers in the world, um, but he's still a kid. Uh, and, and he's still the Damian we all know and love. Uh, so, so, he is a little, a bit, at the very least, deep inside, uh, feeling maybe, or fearing that he will get a little sidelined once uh, Bruce uh, marries Selena, um, which is to be expected for any, from any kid that, who, that has only one parent, or the, whose parents are uh, separated, and one of them, or both of them, uh, are trying to start a new life. So the kid is like, oh my god, but that's my mommy, and that's my daddy, and they are getting taken away by these strange people that I don't know. Um, and um, but something like that is happening here, but in, with the um, caveat that, in this case, Selena is not something he doesn't know, because Selena has been unknown enough, uh, Batman villain, uh, since forever. So, there is some uh, background between these two characters, and he is really questioning a lot of things, and he's deep, in, deep inside, and he doesn't want them to, uh, uh, doesn't want to let them out. Then we, in a very cute way, we see him trying to get to a place where he will just do kid stuff. I love when Damien just do kid stuff, like having a, a, a cow as a pet, for example. And speaking of bad cow, we haven't seen her in a long time. I really hope Alfred hasn't cooked her. Please let bad cow be fine. Uh, so, uh, and in here we see someone attack Damien. Uh, and this particular someone at the beginning, I think it fools everybody, even the reader. I'm not going to spoil anything about it, but it is very surprising when he appears and when you start seeing uh, his abilities and when you start uh, uh, paying attention to what he's trying to say. And I think it is it, it, it constituted by the end a very powerful, strong impact on Damien's um, young mind uh, uh, in, in regards to this wedding, and we finally see Rush entering the scene and confronting him and trying to make him uh, come to his side, taking the wedding as an excuse. Um, that's all I'm going to say because there are some details about it that I think will be uh, spoilers. So basically, Rush was expecting to make use of this to make Damian start at the very least, doubting Bruce once again, um, but in the end, it's it, it, one of those things that you can apply that, that saying that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, and in this case, what Rush attempted didn't kill Damien's relationship with his soon-to-be stepmother, uh, it actually brought them to, closer together, and the thing that I think was um, just beautiful, I mean, it, it really I really found it uh, very well written, and, 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 and the relationship that they presented in there, it was very nice, and I have no idea how it will play out in the long run, because we still have no uh, clear view of what will actually happen in this wedding. We just know that it will get pretty intense, um, once again, because, I mean, when you're reading a lot of Marvel, a lot of DC, you can stop but seeing some... Uh, similarities here and then, uh, and in this case, uh, the similarities are with uh, the, the many, 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 many failed attempts at marrying between Scott and Jean, 
uh, back in the X-Men comics, uh, which is somehow being repeated with Kitty and Colossus right now. So I'm very scared about a lot of things happening, especially because the Joker is so jealous. He's like so jealous here. Um, so that, that, that leaves me weirdly excited about seeing what will happen. So, well, going back to this issue, it was very cool. It was a very uh, nice start to this prelude. That I, I, I'm not sure if it was necessary or not, but so far it, it is, has been very fun and entertaining. And because of the character moments, not much of the, the plot, because the plot wasn't as strong, but mainly because of the character moments, I'm going to have to give this um, four Selinas out of five. Um, I mean, it, 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 it was really worth my time, and I would recommend checking this. Uh, prelude thingy at least this issue. I don't uh, let's wait and see if the other ones are going to be as good The next one will be if I remember correctly Nightwing and Hush um, I always l like to see Dick uh, getting involved in anything um, And I think we haven't seen uh, Hush in a long time uh, I, I think the last time we saw him was during Batman Eternal, or, or, or it was Batman Robin Eternal, well, one of those. Um, so I'm curious what we he has to do with all of this. Is he also Jesus? He was somebody Selena or something? Or maybe he will be again like this, oh my god, Bruce has everything I don't have, um, or, or something like that. Uh, so yeah, what do you think will happen here? What do you think the Joker is planning? Why do you think he's so jealous like we don't know already? So click the like button if you know what the Joker is uh, has um, for Bruce. Uh, and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.